how much it is 3 mu mg by k so call this is x naught so how much of spring force will act here no kx naught will act and the block is kept on rough surface a friction will be acting and friction is how much mu mg so initial elongation is how much that x naught is how much so we can write it no so 3 kx naught equal to how much it is kx naught equal to 3 mu mg by k so what is x naught should be 3 mu mg so what do you expect when you release kx naught will overcome friction so it will accelerate then as it accelerates as it accelerates so the speed of the block will increase no somewhere when the spring force becomes equal to friction Sir, ah. Sir, that initial uh, elongation that is x naught equals to 3 mu mg by k, sir. No, th this is, so sorry, it should be, okay, fine. Yes, sir. This initial elongation is this much, eh? not this one, yeah. K or kx naught equal to 3 mu mg, you write it. Hmm. Okay, no. So now definitely kx naught greater than f. So you can see that from here, kx naught greater than f. So block will accelerate. So somewhere at intermediate position, it will have maximum velocity. Here the spring force will be equal to f. kx1 equal to f here. So therefore, what is f? f is mu mg. So therefore, what is x1 equal to? mu mg by k. I think you should just read in all these things and now what will happen to the further. So it will keep on. So it will attain the spring will attain natural length. Here also you check it. It will have some velocity when it comes to the there's a natural length of the spring. If you want to write it. What is L0? For our understanding purpose we have brought it. What is L0? Natural length. Then when the block here spring will attain natural length, it will have some velocity. Call V. And how the friction, friction will be acting in this way. Okay, now, so now what will happen because of velocity, it will further go and compress the spring. So as it compresses, The friction will be acting in this direction. Spring force in what direction will act? Spring force will act in this direction. Call kx2. And the velocity will be in this direction. So now what is the state of the block you see? Both spring force and friction are acting towards right. So what should happen to block? Should undergo retardation and finally it should come to instantaneous rest. So now what do you mean by compression? I should measure from here, no? That this. Shall I call this as compression finally? Maximum compression. So initial acceleration of the block. This is A naught maximum compression maximum speed of the block this is what maximum speed maximum compression in the spring now how to find out all these things this is about the basic diagram so initial acceleration i think we can find out from the just that elo initial elongation he has given in the form of in terms of mu that's all so you should not get confused with any other data here nothing big problem is very simple now what is exit i'll continue now so A0 is equal to acceleration A0 should be equal to Kx0 minus F by M. So up to this, Kx0 is 3 mu mg. This is mu mg. This is M. I think this should be equal to 2 mu g. This is our one answer. This is option A, you keep it. Then maximum speed of the block when the speed of the block will be maximum at mean position so this is not red color is mean position this is the mean position 
this is the main position what do you mean by main position how to define main position the main position is one where the net force should be zero no and the block will have maximum velocity so what you can write it this is the mean that right, mean only it should be that one where the net force on the block is zero in spring block system that is the main position so here uh, can we calculate x1 so what should be the kx1 kx1 should be equal to mu m1 g so we have idea like this how to calculate that vm so when the block moves from this right extreme from the this is rest no i release from rest from rest it will come to this portion between the first and second diagram can we apply conservation of mechanism no friction is acting so therefore here i'll go for work in g theorem initial kinetic energy plus work done by the spring force plus work done by friction equal to final kinetic energy or or you can just write in terms of energy here so initial energy is how much uh, these are the diagrams diagram a b for a and b between a and b k x not square by 2 should be equal to work done by friction friction how much of work it will do f into x not minus x1 because what is the displacement of block x not minus x1 this should be equal to plus k x1 square by 2 m v m square by 2 so we know x not we know x1 we know f substituting all that we'll get the expression for vm i'll i'll write it solve later on okay this is the maximum velocity Now how to get that maximum compression how to get that maximum compression <coughs> here, here here this is the compression and this is just compression this is a natural length this is elongation i think you must have all this basic thing that one okay now how to get this x3 maximum compression from where i should measure from natural length this is something i assume natural length x not is elongation maximum elongation x here there is some along op diagram b is elongation c is natural length d is compression and what about e maximum compression so between a and d shall we shall i apply an energy equation between a and d now what is the initial energy kx not square by 2 then then how much of displacement the block <coughs> has undergone x not plus x3 you see that how much of displacement here x not how much of displacement here x3 and the friction does negative work so this should be equal to what happened all this energy work done to overcome friction x not plus x3 plus and finally some energy is retained in the spring rather than some integration all no just i am asking you to what all energy is stored here in the spring k x not square by 2 and finally in the diagram here also some energy is stored in the spring it will have compression so here how much let me show like this k x 3 it will have energy here also in the in the diagram e k x x cube by 3 whole square then when the block moves from here to here what is the state of this this is at rest no at maximum compression what should be the state of the block block should be at rest can you go back to basics at maximum here spring block system at extreme points what should be the state of the block should be at rest at mean position should have maximum velocity try to see all all the information i'm dumping here and when the when it moves from the right extreme to left extreme so what about the friction friction does negative work no and what is the displacement of block x not plus x3 instead of writing some any integration method i'm just showing in this way here okay fine so solve this some x3 i think you'll get it 
maximum compression no will be mu mg by k i'll write on check later on okay time left us 